Welcome nature detectives. I'm Conrad Baker. I'm an outdoor educator for the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation and Historic Preservation at Lechworth State Park. And today I have a nature mystery for you. I'm here in the pollinator garden at the Humphrey Nature Center in Lechworth State Park. It's near the visitor center. We love to plant lots of flowers in this area that bloom in the late summer and early fall when lots of other kinds of wildflowers aren't really blooming anymore. One of these plants in particular caught my eye. I think we can use our nature tools to figure out what kind of plant it is and how it helps us every single day. We'll use just one nature tool today, our sense of touch. I'll show you our flower right here. Now, as beautiful as it is, we're going to completely ignore how it looks. Let's explore using just our sense of touch, especially starting with the stem. Feeling along the stem, the first thing I notice is that it's covered in teeny tiny little hairs. They're like the bristles on a toothbrush. They're pretty stiff. They don't bend easily. The second thing I notice about that stem is that it is round like a straw. It's not square like a block. Rounded stem, very fuzzy. Our next nature clue, when we get up to the top of that stem, are these little guys sticking back towards me. These structures that aren't hugging along the bottom edge of the flower. They're pointed down, back towards my hand. That's an important nature clue. They're not folded around the middle of the flower like these long petals are. And the last nature clue that we'll use to figure out what kind of plant this is, is by feeling up to the top of that flower, the head of the flower, and feeling how bristly that is. It's not really spiny or thorny. It's not hurting my hand to touch it like this, but it is very stiff and there are little bristles that pop right back into place. I can feel them almost like the hooks on Velcro. I can feel them there. Let's put all our nature clues together. We have a stiff, bristly, Velcro-like head of the flower. The bottom of the head of the flower has these little guys pointing back towards me. And the whole stem is covered in tiny little hairs and is round like a straw. This must be cone flower, also called purple cone flower or echinacea if you're a real uh, flower scientist, a botanist. Cone flower is a super important plant for this time of year because it produces a lot of nectar. It's that super high energy, very sugary juice that lots of animals depend on this time of year. I'm talking about butterflies, moths, ants, wasps, bees, flies, all animals that are pollinators for foods that we like to eat, fruits and vegetables, and all kinds of foods that are dependent on those fruits and vegetables. We're talking about watermelons and carrots and apples and oranges and cherries and peaches. All of those plants are dependent on animal pollinators to make seeds and make more plants for us to eat. About 80% of all the fruits and vegetables that we like to eat depend on those animal pollinators, and those animal pollinators depend on late season nectar sources like coneflower to survive this part of the year, the late summer, early fall. If you really want to put your nature detective skills to the test, try to find some coneflower in your neighborhood. You're most likely to see this flower in gardens and parks and public spaces. We don't see it quite so often in the wild, at least not here in western New York. These will probably be growing among other plants, but they might be some of the only plants to be flowering at this time of year. Well, thank you so much for joining me for today's Nature Mystery. If you have any questions about cone flower or other flowers that are native to North America, please put a comment in the comment section below the video. Share this video with your friends to put their nature detective skills to the test. And as always, like Letra State Park's Facebook page to stay tuned for more nature mysteries.